In this video, I'll show you how to run a type of exploratory factor analysis called principal axis factoring in SPSS. As there are many menu options to select from, I'm not going to describe what each one does. Instead, I'm going to focus on providing you with the output that you'll need to be able to fully interpret and write up your results. In the companion video, which you can access from the StatHand website or mobile app, I'll walk you through the output that you'll get by following the instructions in this video. So let's get started. We're going to factor analyze a 12 item measure called the humor scale. And I have data from 203 participants who responded to each of these items on a numeric scale ranging from one to five, where one indicated strongly disagree and five indicated strongly agree. To make interpretation easier, I've included the actual wording of each of the items in the label field for each variable. And I'd recommend that you do the same. Now, if you read through these items, several of them appear to be about making fun of other people. So items like one, three, and five. And several of them appear to be about making fun of oneself, such as items two, four, and six. But then item seven is slightly different. It seems to be about using sarcasm as a form of humor. We'll keep a special eye on this item as we proceed with the analyses and interpretation. So I'm just gonna to switch to the data view. And here you can see the responses that the first few participants gave to each item. And remember that higher numbers, up to a maximum of five, indicate a higher level of agreement with a particular item. So in the Analyze menu, select Dimension Reduction and then Factor. Move all of the variables that you want to factor analyze into the Variables list. And if you click on the first and then hold the shift key and then click on the last, you can select them all at once. Open the descriptives dialog and here you'll see that initial solution is selected by default. You can also select coefficients, significance levels, determinant, KMO and Bartlett's test of sphericity, reproduced and anti-image. Click continue. In the extraction dialog, there are a number of extraction methods available. In most circumstances, the differences between the solutions that they provide will be minimal. In this video, we're going to use principal axis factoring, as it's one of the more commonly used extraction methods for exploratory factor analysis. Also select scree plot under display. Now we're going to extract factors based on the Kaiser criterion, which basically says extract factors with eigenvalues greater than one. The alternative is to extract a specific number of factors, which you may want to experiment with if the default options don't provide you with an interpretable solution. Click continue. In the rotation dialog, we again have a number of different options. Verimax, Quartermax, and Equimax are referred to as orthogonal rotations. And they're used if it's assumed that the factors underlying the observed variables, which in this case are participants' responses to the scale items, are uncorrelated. Now the best way of finding out if this is the case is to use an oblique rotation, like Direct Oblomen or Promax. And in this case, we'll use direct oblomen. An oblique rotation allows the factors to correlate as necessary, and thus it often provides a more realistic solution. Finally, in the options dialog, select sorted by size and suppress small coefficients, and change the absolute value below to 0.3. The reason that we're doing this is to make interpretation of the final output easier. Click continue, and then click OK, and your output will appear in the SPSS statistics viewer. 